Deep within the annals of history lie tales of grandeur, heroism, and mystery. Today we journey back in time to uncover the rise of ancient cities. In the vast tapestry of human civilization there are threads that shine brighter, stories that echo louder, and mysteries that intrigue deeper. These are the tales of ancient cities, citadels of time, that have left an indelible mark on the sands of history. As we delve into this journey, we will traverse through time, peeling back the layers of the past, to bring you the captivating narratives of Pompeii, Troy, and Machu Picchu. Our first stop on this historical odyssey is Pompeii, a city etched in time, preserved under a blanket of volcanic ash. Next, we journey to the ancient city of Troy, a city whose legends have been immortalized in epic poetry and whose walls have borne witness to heroism and great battles. And finally, we ascend into the clouds to the lost city of the Incas, Machu Picchu, a city that redefines the very limits of human imagination and architectural prowess. Each city, unique in its genesis, its journey and its legacy, holds a treasure trove of stories waiting to be unearthed. Stories of courage and conquest, of innovation and ingenuity, of art and architecture, of culture and civilization. These are not mere stories, but rather, they are the milestones in the journey of humanity, the signposts that have guided us from our primitive beginnings to the modern world we inhabit today. As we embark on this journey, we will not only explore the physical structures that these cities are known for, but we will also delve into the minds of the people who built them, who lived in them, and who left their indelible mark on them. We will weave together the threads of history, archaeology, mythology and culture to paint a vivid picture of these ancient cities and their enduring legacies. So brace yourselves as we set out on our journey, starting with the city frozen in time, Pompeii, Buried under the wrath of Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii was a city rich in culture and commerce. Let's step back in time to an era when the ancient city of Pompeii was in its prime, a thriving metropolis, bustling with life and activity. Nestled in the fertile region of Campania, near the Bay of Naples, Pompeii was a beacon of civilization and prosperity. Its strategic location made it an important trading hub, connecting the Mediterranean with the hinterlands of Italy. Its seaport was a hive of activity with goods from as far as Africa and the Middle East finding their way into the heart of the city. Pompeii was a city of contrasts, where Roman architectural prowess met the simplicity of provincial life. Its streets were lined with grand villas, ornate temples, bustling markets and impressive public buildings. The grandeur of the city was evident in its well-planned grid system, intricate mosaics and frescoes that adorned the walls of its buildings. The city's amphitheater, one of the oldest surviving Roman amphitheaters, was a testament to its cultural vitality. But it wasn't just the physical structures that made Pompeii special. The city was a melting pot of cultures boasting a cosmopolitan lifestyle. Its citizens, known as Pompeians, were a mix of affluent merchants, skilled craftsmen, farmers, slaves, and freedmen. They reveled in the city's social and cultural offerings from theatrical performances and gladiatorial combats to public baths and sumptuous feasts. The city's economy was as diverse as its people. Agriculture was the backbone with the fertile plains around Pompeii producing an abundance of grains, fruits, olives and fine wines. These products were not only consumed locally but also exported across the empire, earning Pompeii a reputation as a vital agricultural hub. Pompeii's prosperity wasn't just confined to its agriculture. Its flourishing trade and commerce were evident in its bustling markets, where goods from far and wide were bought and sold. The city's artisans were renowned for their skills, crafting beautiful objects in bronze, silver and gold. The city was also known for its wool and textile industry, producing fine garments that were in high demand throughout the Roman Empire. The city's infrastructure was highly advanced for its time. Pompeii boasted a sophisticated water system with aqueducts bringing fresh water from miles away. Its streets were paved with stepping stones for pedestrians to avoid the muck of the roads. The city also had a complex sanitation system with drains and sewers to keep the city clean. The prosperous city of Pompeii, however, was not destined to last, meeting its tragic end in 79 AD. Yet, the story of Pompeii's rise offers us a glimpse into the past, a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of human civilization. It's a poignant reminder of how cities can rise, thrive and fall, 
leaving behind a legacy that continues to fascinate us centuries later. From the ashes of Pompeii, we journey to the legendary city of Troy, a city whose existence was once thought to be mere myth. Nestled near the Dardanelles Strait, Troy's strategic location was its strength and its curse. The city stood as a gateway between the East and West, reaping the benefits of trade and cultural exchange. Yet its coveted position also made it a desirable prize for ambitious conquerors. The origins of Troy take us back to the dawn of civilization. Founded by the descendants of the Hittites, this Bronze Age city became a bustling metropolis. Its towering walls and fortified citadel were a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of its inhabitants. But Troy was more than just stone and mortar. It was a beacon of hope, a symbol of human endeavor. Troy's moment of glory, however, was etched in the annals of history during the Trojan War, a saga immortalized in Homer's Iliad. The epic recounts a decade-long conflict ignited by the abduction of the beautiful Helen by Paris, the Prince of Troy. This act of passion sparked a war that would consume the known world. The Greeks, led by King Agamemnon and the legendary hero Achilles, besieged the city for ten long years. The war concluded with the infamous Trojan horse ploy, a subterfuge that led to the city's downfall. These tales, passed down through generations, were considered mere legends, the fanciful creations of ancient bards. That was until the 19th century when the city's ruins were unearthed by the pioneering archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann. Schliemann's discoveries provided tangible proof of Troy's existence, forever blurring the lines between myth and history. The walls of Troy stood silent witnesses to the past, their stones whispering tales of love, war and fate. In the heart of the city, the remnants of the royal palace, the scene of many an epic tale, were unearthed. These archaeological findings, coupled with the discovery of a treasure trove of artifacts, lent credence to the epic tales narrated in the Iliad, reinforcing the city's historical significance. The city of Troy, though reduced to ruins, stands as a monument to the power of human imagination and the indomitable spirit of survival. It is more than an archaeological site. It is a symbol of our collective past, a tapestry of human experience woven with threads of triumph, tragedy, love and loss. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of Troy, we find ourselves drawn into a world that, though separated by millennia, resonates with our own. Troy's story is our story, a testament to the enduring power of human resilience and the timeless allure of legend. The city of Troy, though fallen, lives on in our hearts and minds, a testament to the power of legend and history. Leaving behind the battlegrounds of Troy, we ascend to the cloud-kissed peaks of the Andes, to the lost city of Machu Picchu. This gem of history, nestled high in the Peruvian Andes, was unknown to the outside world until the early 20th century. Hidden beneath the cloak of thick vegetation and shrouded in mist, it lay undisturbed, a silent sentinel guarding the secrets of a once mighty empire. It was in the year 1911 that an American explorer by the name of Hiram Bingham stumbled upon this architectural masterpiece. Bingham had been on an expedition searching for the fabled city of Vilcabamba, believed to be the last refuge of the Inca resistance against Spanish invasion. What he discovered instead was a city of stone perched precariously on a ridge between two towering Andean peaks. The city is a marvel of ancient engineering. Its buildings, terraces and plazas are intricately carved out of the mountain itself, a testament to the genius and skill of its Inca builders. The city's structures are constructed from dry stone walls, fit together so perfectly that not even a blade of grass can slip between the stones. Its terraced fields, once used for agriculture, cascade down the mountainside, a testament to the Inca's mastery of their harsh and rugged environment. But despite its grandeur, Machu Picchu remains an enigma. Its isolation, far removed from other Inca settlements, has led to much speculation about its purpose. Some believe it to have been a royal estate, a retreat for Inca nobility. Others theorize it was a ceremonial site, a sacred place for the worship of Inca deities. But the truth remains elusive. Just as mysterious is the city's abandonment, it's believed that the city was deserted around the time of the Spanish conquest. However, the conquistadors, in their relentless pursuit of gold, never found Machu Picchu. The city remained untouched, its secrets safe. Was it a plague, a rebellion, or simply the collapse of the Inca Empire that led to its downfall? 
the answers are as elusive as the morning mists that swirl around its peaks. Machu Picchu, a city lost and found, continues to intrigue and inspire us with its enigmatic past. Despite the centuries that have passed, it stands as a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of a people who, against all odds, carved a city out of a mountain and created an architectural marvel that continues to captivate the world. As we delve deeper into its mysteries, we are left with more questions than answers. A reminder that the past is never truly lost, but waiting to be rediscovered. These ancient cities, though buried by time and nature, continue to echo in our present. Their stories, though shrouded in mystery and legend, carry lessons that remain relevant even today. Pompeii, with its well-preserved remnants, provides us with a snapshot of Roman life frozen in time. Its bustling streets, grand villas and elaborate mosaics continue to captivate us, offering glimpses into a society that was both complex and vibrant. The city's sudden demise serves as a stark reminder of nature's unpredictable power, a lesson that resonates with our modern understanding of natural disasters and their impact on urban spaces. The tale of Troy, immortalized by Homer's epic, the Iliad, has stirred imaginations for millennia. The city's legendary walls and fortifications, said to have withstood a decade-long siege, have greatly influenced military architecture throughout history. The story of Troy also underscores the influential role of narrative and myth in shaping our understanding of history. Machu Picchu, perched high in the Andes, stands as a testament to the Incan civilization's remarkable architectural prowess and understanding of nature. Its intricate city planning, terraced farming and advanced water distribution systems reveal a society that lived in harmony with its environment. This ancient city's complex urban design continues to inspire sustainable practices in modern architecture and urban planning. These cities, each unique in their rise and fall, have left an indelible mark on our cultural consciousness. Their architectural innovations, societal structures, and their resilience in the face of adversity continue to shape our understanding of human civilization. They remind us that cities are more than mere structures of stone and mortar. They are living, breathing entities, repositories of our collective memory. As we journey through the annals of time, we realize that the past, though silent, speaks volumes. And so, until our next historical adventure, we bid these ancient cities adieu.